Good morning, everyone. I'm Peter Chan. I'm the mayor of the city. I want to welcome everyone to the 2020 Veterans Day's virtual ceremony. Due to the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic, today's ceremony is being pre-recorded with no live audience. To begin our ceremony, I would like to ask everyone to join me in a Pledge of Allegiance. So please stand and join us to do the Pledge of Allegiance to together. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands. One nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. Today is the Veterans Day, and the way we live, the world we live in, we really owe them a lot of gracious thanks. Because of the veterans, they fight for us, they give their lives, sacrifice themselves, so that to keep the world in a peaceful situation and let us live peacefully together in this earth. We owe it to them for their sacrifice, their efforts to make us safe and live comfortably at home. I hope every day is a Veterans Day so that we can thank them. And at least once a year, we gather together and give our thanks and appreciation to their efforts and sacrifice. Without them, we may be in a big trouble, the world's not in a peaceful place. But under this situation, under the COVID situation, it's a different world. But good that hope is here, that we want to do it together. Go for the future, go for the betterment of all of us. So I want to thank all the veterans, retire or in service, I just want to thank them with bottom of our hearts and live on peacefully and get on our jobs. So thank you so much. Thank you, veterans. Enjoy the day. And I would like to hear to introduce Mayor Pro Tem Yvonne Yu to say a few words. So please welcome Yvonne. Thank you, Mayor Chen. Hi, this is Yvonne Yu, Mayor Pro Tem of City of Monterey Park. Um, it's my great honor to be invited here to speak to all of you today. And today we want to spend a moment to honor our veterans, which is about 17 million and is about 7% of our U.S. population here, which include my cousin, our city manager, a lot of our city staff, and also friends around us. As you know, I am the money lady. But when I come to a point knowing that our veteran wrote, an, uh, wrote a blank check that for up to incl and including their life to the to United States of America, I'm speechless. Their love and dedication to our country is selfless and it deserves all the honor and respect from all of us. And today I wanted to give the thank you from the bottom of my heart to all the veterans. They protect the greatest asset that we have and this is how we can pass it on to our future generations. So thank you so much. Thank you, enjoy your day. Thank you very much, Madam Mayor Pro Tem and hello Monterey Park. My name is Henry Lowe and it's my honor to be here at today's ceremony. Today is a day in which we honor our current and former members of the armed services. Mm -hmm. Our nation is great because it is built on the foundation of your courage and sacrifice. It is always important to remember that freedom is not guaranteed. It is protected by the men and women who serve this nation. Therefore, we owe all of you a debt of gratitude. So thank you, because all of us in this community know someone who has served in the armed services. They have friends, they have relatives, I have cousins who are in the U.S. Army, and therefore it is important to honor 
their sacrifice. And I think one of the best ways to do so is to continue to support each other, work together as a united community so that their sacrifices are not in vain. So thank you very much to our men and women of the armed services. Now it is my honor, my pleasure to introduce my colleague on the city council, council member Fred Sonoso. Council member. Hello, good morning. My name is Fred Sornosa. I'm one of the council members for District 3. And here this morning, we are here to honor our veterans. So thank you very much to all the veterans who live here in Monterey Park and also throughout the, the country. Thank you for your dedication, for your sacrifice, for the years that you spent serving our country um, in exchange for your personal time. So we all thank you for the freedoms that we enjoy without you. A lot of the things that we enjoy today wouldn't be possible. So again, thank you for all that that you do for us. We want to especially thank those who are currently in, um, in the service. Uh, you can't go inside the city hall, but if you go inside, there's a wall with photographs of current military members. So we want to thank those folks for the effort and time that they're putting in to serve our country. And also behind me, there is a memorial to those that served in prior wars. So we just want to thank those as well. So we want to thank all our veterans from those from the World War II. And I know there's still some alive because uh, my uncle who lives across the street, 95 years old, is a veteran of the Navy from World War II, all the way to the current members of the armed forces who are serving overseas. So again, thank you for your dedication and sacrifice and God bless you all. Greetings, this is Council Member Hans Leong. As we continue to fight to reduce the spread of COVID, many residents are witness to the fact that we had to shut down and cancel many of our events. This year during Veterans Day, I would like to thank our staff for being creative and innovative and in giving us this opportunity to thank our veterans. With that, I would like to wish you all a happy Veterans Day. Thank you all the veterans who have served our country and all the active military who continue to serve our country. Thank you and happy Veterans Day. My name is Vincent Chang. I'm the city clerk for the city of Monterey Park. As you know, we just recently finished an election of which many, many participated. With Monterey Park, uh, actually, I think we reached almost 50% voters participation. So thank you very much if you voted. Uh, and, you know, uh, whatever the results are going to be, uh, it, it is what it's going to come out. So, but it would be safe to say that this would not have happened without the services of our military, of our veterans. So without their hard work over the years, we would not have had this opportunity to participate. So thank you to all our veterans, uh, whether you uh, were uh, in your family as well, uh, whether you uh, participated in World War II, uh, beyond, before that, veterans from the Vietnam era, uh, veterans from the Iraq era, current veterans, um, those of you uh, in, in more uh, closer to the to, uh, situation now, thank you, thank you, thank you. And now it is my special honor and privilege to introduce a guest speaker, a special guest speaker today from uh, the U.S. Army Recruiting Station here in Monterey Park, none other than Sergeant Angel Velez. Sergeant Velez, please. Good morning to all elected officials, commanding officers, veterans, retirees, those currently serving, friends and family members. I'm in much appreciation to you giving me this opportunity to speak on this beautiful Veterans Day ceremony. My name is Sergeant First Class Angel Velez, and I'm the current station commander of the Monterey Park U.S. Army Recruiting Station. So real quick question and check on learning to everybody. Does anybody know how much a private made during World War II for each month? The answer to that question is $47 a month in the year of 1944. Now for the younger generation, that was a few years back and many things have changed. This information right now 
may not come as a hot topic on social media or something you might see on television, but it was something that a true American World War II veteran once told me sitting at a Veterans Day dinner table when I returned from Hawaii from my deployment to Iraq. It was that attraction of the same, but difference recognizing war and experience. The sharing of face-to-face -face conversation, veteran or not, passing down stories, experiences, and gain knowledge while serving to either young or older is what Veterans Day means to myself. The dictionary meaning of Veterans Day is a public holiday on the anniversary of the end of World War I, which is November 11th, to honor U.S. service members and victims of all war. This day, we salute all those who have worn the uniform and give thanks. As a 15-year U.S. Army soldier, I know the difference that each branch presents themselves with, trying to surpass and, and outshine each other. Usually this comes with all our military pride. It seems to really come out during Army versus Navy football games, the VFW, or the local hangouts usually outside of military bases. But at the end of the day, we all know that we play for the same team and have held the same mission, which is to fight and win the nation's wars and to protect the American people from those who look to bring harm to our homeland. Again, Veterans Day to myself is a shared remembrance of those events we went through next to our brothers and sisters in arms and the experiences that will forever change in our minds. As a child, I can remember my father bringing me and my siblings to the Veterans Day Parade back home in Miami, Florida and watching U.S. soldiers, Marines, sailors, guards, Coast Guards, and airmen walking in formation with a presence to themselves that you really don't see anywhere else. At this point, this is what I knew, this is what I wanted to be when I grow up. Selfless service, fear towards little to none, and one who places God, family, and country first. To every veteran who served in World War II, the Korean War, Vietnam War, the Gulf War, Iraq War, Afghanistan War, and all the past wars and operations, I salute you for your service to this great country, the personal and family time you have gave up to serve, and the sacrifices you made every single day. Today I look forward to speaking to each and every veteran on their own personal stories. This is my Veterans Day. Thank you to everyone for allowing me to speak on this day. Enjoy the rest of your morning. Go Army, beat Navy. Next <clears throat> will be Senator Susan Rubio. Would like to give a special thanks to all the veterans. Hello, I'm Senator Susan Rubio. I want to thank everyone for coming together to honor and thank all the men and women who served in the armed forces and who put their lives at risk to protect our country. Let's take a moment to reflect on what this day truly means. It's a time to recognize the sacrifices our veterans have made and thank them for their bravery, courage, and service before self. For us, you are examples of true heroes. I want to express my sincere gratitude to our veterans, those who have fallen, and those who are currently serving. We honor all of you and thank you for all that you've done for this country. With much gratitude, we salute you. God bless. Thank you, Senator Rubio. In closing, I would like to thank all our speakers today and remind everyone to stay safe as we honor and thank our veterans today and always. I would also like to thank Chick-fil-A and Monterey Park for partnering with the city to offer veterans an active military one complimentary chicken sandwich. 
on Veterans Day, November 11, from 10.30 a.m. to 8.30 p.m. Just show your military ID to receive your complimentary meal. Thank you and happy Veterans Day. And thank you to all the council members and all the participants. And most importantly, thank you all the veterans who serve our country. Thank you and have a good day.